Hello everyone on YouTube. Today, we're going to be making an ice farm. Right, hi everybody. How are we all doing today? I'm at my base. As you can see, it's still mostly scaffolding, but we're building it slowly. We've got lots of things we want to take care of. But today, what I want to do is I want to head north and I want to build an ice farm. Now... I'm not sure what I'm going to need. I'm going to take some saplings. I'm going to take some food. I'm not going to take diamonds. I don't carry diamonds with me. I think it's bad luck to carry diamonds. Um, I just need to find a way to store these somewhere. I need to spend a lot of time um, offline uh, doing some um, sorting. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Bit of a cough. We're going into the nether. And what we're going to do is we're going to head north. We're going to have to go upwards first. And the reason why we're heading north is because there's mountainous terrain. Now, I know that snow falls anywhere above a certain altitude in this game. But to be honest, I feel like having another base. And this is north. And what we're going to have to do at some point is rig this up with a bit more of a impressive looking tunnel. Rather than just a little borehole that I've made. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, if you like my, um, what is it, videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. What I'm doing is I am going all the way from the start of the game, where you've got nothing and you build yourself a little shelter, all the way through to having automated farms and a massive base, get the wither killed a few times over, uh, kill the ender dragon, and go to the end and get some goodies. And why do I keep dropping down? Uh, uh, this is not good. Oh, I'm fine. So, we've got a little bridge here. Slightly dangerous, but not as dangerous as we'd like. So, why do we need ice? Well, ooh, look at that for a lava waterfall. Even with the old nether, it still looks quite beautiful. Right. Why we need ice is because... Did we bring a bed? Well, I don't think we brought a bed. I love going adventuring. I always leave something behind that I need. Right, how, how do I work out where north is? Oh, I'm all disorientated. I know, I'll use my coordinate system. So, we head down to 2000, minus 2000, we head to 2006. Right, so, this is a very, 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 very crude way of getting about. And what I want to do is I want to head to the nearest landmass. We've got a lovely ravine down there to check out. Let's try diving. For some reason, diving doesn't want to work all the time on my control pad. Let's just sink down a bit and try it now. That's better. The problem is we've got drowned about and they do a lot of damage if you stay still. More drowned, more drowned. I heard the other day I can make a drowned farm. I'm going to try that. I don't know where. And we're still heading to a landmass. Night time. I should know better than to have a bed. <clears throat> right then. I'm going to see how we're going to scale this mountainous area. Not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing. But I am looking for a place that will allow me to climb up, climb up this mountain easy. Clown. Clown. Is that like clown? But clown? It's got an M on the end. I don't know, I just make random words up wherever I go. Right, so we're, uh, get me trident out because I know there's a spider, he's not spotted me. It's time to go spider hunting! Come here, Stringbush! That's what I call them, walking Stringbush. Come here. Come here. Well, you did the job of attacking me. You weren't even annoying. Well, that's good. Tridents are great. Next time we use a trident, we're probably going to uh, skewer something from a long distance. <clears throat> so how's about this? This could do as our little forward base. And further up in altitude, as we can see, we've got snow. And I'm beginning to realise that there is a huge ravine between me and the other area that I want to get to. And um, the zombies seem pretty determined to get at me. So how about we build a bridge from this outcrop straight to that wall over there. 
Right, let's get some uh, bricks, stone bricks, put them in there and hold the sneak button so that you don't fall off. And I don't like this dirt ridge, so I'm going to get rid of that. And we'll start as bridge from here. So I'm just going to do that. And what we can do is hang our backsides off of the bridge. And as long as we've got the sneak button um, pressed or on some versions of uh, this game held down, we should be able to get across fairly easily. And there we go, we've made landfall again. And it's pretty steep, is this? So we might have a look at, uh, let's uh, do a bit here. And we'll just pillar up for now. We can uh, do this much better when we've, uh, when we've sorted out how we're gonna make a route up here properly. And um, yes. Yes, this is where I want to build my first ice farm. I'm high enough up where it's going to... Uh, all uh, rain is going to come down as snow. Let's build some ice. You know what I've forgotten? I've forgotten my buckets of water. Ah, well, we'll be able to do something about that. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build... Uh, level this off. Should I... Ah, God, I have no tools to do any of what I want to do. Right, so first thing we want to do then is we want to plant a sapling. See how long that takes to grow. <clears throat> and we'll just have to do this by hand. Now, if you've got a shovel, you can actually salvage the snow and create snowballs. And four snowballs makes a snow block. And that's about all there is to tell you about snow. <clears throat> Here we go. Chiseling this back. So I wonder how I'm going to create my ice farm. And how to make a really simple one. I might have to go on a... What is it? Another YouTube channel and find someone who's made a really good ice farm. I don't mind tinkering about now with uh, stuff like this. I've got uh, my own redstone test world, or you know, but uh, I don't. That's a very recent thing, so I haven't put any of that on YouTube yet. I guess I could do that. Would you guys be interested in uh, what I get up to in a redstone test world? Because I get up to some really bizarre stuff. Leave you an answer in the comments. Assuming anybody actually watches this video. <laughs> The early days of my YouTube channel. We've got 51 subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing. Uh, like I say again, if you like our... Um, let's just beg and plead here. If you like what I'm doing, feel free to like, share and subscribe. And sometimes my videos are interesting. Other times they're just not. But hopefully as we get more resources, we'll be able to do more things with this and other games. I'm just going to strip more of that away and more of that. It's nice how the snow falls in like a uniform carpet down to the next level. So I can't tell where I've been doing things. <clears throat> so it's been in the news recently. Let's talk about uh, events about this coronavirus. How are you guys doing? Are you infected? Are you feeling okay? Are you feeling quite blah? Are you... Uh, Having to cope with being in quarantine. So that's our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, that's not a bad area, is that? And it's gonna get a bit narrower over here, so never mind. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A nine, and that will make a nine by nine square. Those of you who are familiar with early builds will know that a nine by nine square gives you a seven block by seven block interior. And um, what that means is you'll be able to put torches on the sides like this without ever having to put torches on the floor. And we'll just get rid of that. So I don't have any iron ore whatsoever, and I've got no torches and no saplings. So what I'm gonna do is, and I'm, I'm just gonna, just gonna do it. Hey, blomp, bonk, splat. I've only broke my leg. Um, I haven't really. I'll walk, go over to this walking string bush and this armada of zombies I didn't know existed. Oh dear. And there's a creeper as well. I'm not too fussed about the creeper. It's the midge that always frightens me. Come on, Creeper. I'll be having you. I 
army of zombalombas. Sorry about the clicking of my control pad. I will eventually have a better setup where you can't hear anything. Oh, I've got a carrot. Now, if I were in the early stages of the game, I would give a damn. I seem to have carrots coming out of my eyeballs. Oh, no, 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 no. I've just seen a skelly warrior, and I need to really be thinking about my food intake before I fight him. No, he's not thinking about that. He's thinking about my arrow intake. Run for the hills! Oh, that is a lovely rock formation over there. What is... Hello, there's more of them. What is going on over here? It's floated islands. It's like the game suddenly decided, meh, we'll have a dirt cloud with some stone in it. Slight chance of raining boulders. I like that. I, I want to leave that as it is what I'm looking at right now and just put some... Uh, Ouch. Am I still being attacked? Put some uh, torches on it. And what a lovely sunrise while I'm being murdered. Uh, well, right, let's see what's going on. Oh, I see. It was a creeper explosion. Oh, that's lovely. Creepers, creepers everywhere, but not a drop to drink. And there's some sheep. Alright, let's get ourselves a bit more suitably armed. Let's just butcher this um, spruce tree. You can hear it screaming. No, no, I can't believe this is happening. Sorry, my jokes don't get any better, they just get worse. Right, and I butchered a spruce tree. I've got a bit of deja vu from the first ever video we did where I punched a tree to death and just left all the leaves to just die away. Right, okay. This is lovely, is this? Just, uh, I don't know why I'm aiming to try and collect some spruce saplings. Maybe I want some spruces. <clears throat> and get a sprucey bonus. Uh, my god, everything around here is just wandering around. Why are you not on fire? Oh, I see. You've got shade. Oh, you're on fire now. How can you be on fire? You're made of bone. Well, you can burn bone, but I think you have to get up to something like 800 degrees to do the job. Or is that just for cremating an entire body? I have no idea. I'm full of useless facts. Oh, coal. I get the feeling we're going to need coal. I came out here with nothing, and I still have most of it left. So, get some coal. Right. The biggest problem we've got is the transportation of water. I, uh, I left my buckets back at my base. I guess you'd call that a book up. No, that's just worse. Alright, okay, let's just mine a bit of coal. Still mining coal. Still mining coal. Still mining coal. We have all the coal in the world. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. My mother said I should not uh, do any singing, that I should keep my day job instead. My day job, coincidentally, is singing. It's not. Right, okay, what's the quickest way of finding iron? Let's jump over to this plains biome. This is probably a bad idea. No, I landed in water. Nice plains biome. Find a hole. No, that's a hole with water. We will need water eventually. I'm looking for a caving hole. Looking for a caving hole. And that's a bee. I like bees. I still haven't really successfully captured any without dying. Right, do I have wood? I'm going to need torches, so let's have a look in here. Get some sticks and get some torches. Don't know why I have to exit my inventory to go back in in order to do stuff. I'm weird. Right, we are looking for three, as a bare minimum, iron ore blocks. Well, that was a fascinating cave that took all of 10 seconds to explore. Now, I'm not disappointed in the slightest with that. I found it a fascinating and rewarding experience that I wish to repeat it again and again and again. Right, let's find a bigger cave that's actually worth our time. Oh, cool. Oh, I'd stop for that, but my, uh, my pickaxe is a bit blunt and I didn't bring any diamond tools. Because, what the hell, you don't always need diamond tools to get the job done. Uh, let's go down here a little bit. Oh, this looks fun. Let's go down a little bit. And a bit. Oh, we have got some iron ore. So we've got three. That's good. Let's put a torch down. We've got two more here. Hopefully there's some more underneath. 
Yes, that's gonna do us. Oh yes, this is nice. It's always nice to have a bit of iron. Can't be bothered mining coal unless I've got like a fortune pickaxe and quite a bit of time to spare, but I've always got time to mine iron ore because it's just so useful. And because it's so useful, I keep using it, and for me it just feels like a scarce resource. So, I never have enough iron. I have, like, a stack in my base, if that. Right, okay, let's go to the uh, weird floating mountains of Pandora. That's what I might call that uh, biome. Uh, we'll have to name it something different from that. So, we're going back to our little base. Why are we going back to our base? We're not thinking right. I could do everything I need to do for me buckets right here. Right, what we need is we need the uh, plank blocks and we need a crafting table, which is great. We need to set that down. I'm sure you're all familiar with this at this stage of the game. In earlier videos, I do this a bit slower. Then what we want to do is we want to interact with that and we want to create a furnace blob. We want to stick the furnace next to it. We want to stick some... Go on, let's stick one unit of thingamy bob in there. And we want to bang, stick that in there. Wait for that to do eight of them. While we're doing that, I might mine that clay. Let's make a shovel for mining clay. Can we make a shovel? We can make some sticks. We can make two shovels. Let's try to not to drown ourselves. There's never enough clay in this game unless you find a mess of biome. So I always take advantage of clay whenever I get a chance. There we go. Should be able to make clay buckets or wooden buckets. You can in certain modified versions of Minecraft. Just waiting for my uh, finger be bob to recharge. There we go. I really should have some uh, armor that gives me some kind of water assistance, like uh, respiration depth strider. Never mind. Right then. Let's see what happened here. Do we have six? Yes, we do. We just need it to mine another two and I can um, put this all together. Just going to take a swig of my juice. Ah. Yum. Come on, come on. Should be able to enchant these furnaces so that they'll like um, do their thing faster. Let's take this crafting table because we're going to need that too. And let's find our way back to where we belong. It's going to be fun. I like jumping off of mountains, but climbing up them can be a little bit trickier. So we'll just aim for the shallowest looking area first. And begin jumping up them. Oh, see how the grass is turning mint green. And what is that? Oh, it's a cow. Sorry, my screen is only tiny, so sometimes I don't know about things far away. Uh, I thought it was an illager. Let's just continue climbing things. Uh, I, I, I like this biome. I think I'm going to start a forward base up here. I don't know what it's going to look like. Right then. Okay, so we've got the crafting table. Crafting table. Just realised a critical mistake in what I'm doing. I don't have any buckets of water. Let's stick a furnace down here. Uh, bingo. Uh, let's make two buckets. Right, okay. And let's uh, get some water, which means we're going to have to go for a bit of a dive, aren't we? Ah, oh, dear. I get the feeling if I dive off of there, I will break something on the way down and have to go home. Whereas if I go down this way, it's a little bit easier. It's a shame I can't scoop up snow and stick it in the bucket to make the water. Yeah, guys at Mojang, are you hearing me? I've got ideas for this game. Also, big unicycles. Yeah, everybody needs to be locomoting around this place on single wheel bikes. Which is float around down here and ouch. And we've got two water buckets. Sorry about this, if I knew what I was doing, we'd have done that a long time ago, and we can't get up this hill. Ah, oh dear. Just 
floating around. Uh, we've got a drown. Shall I, shall I kill a drown? Let's kill two drowned. Go on, swim to me, puppies. Swim to me. You are as dangerous to me as the salmon and the trout. Pretty dangerous, the salmon. Anyway, back up this hill for the umpteenth time today. And this is looking good. Oh, yes. I'm sure I've done this once today. And we're back up here. And we have snow, which I didn't know that did that. It's just, it's just unearthed a load of uh, snowballs. I didn't know that worked. Right, okay, what can I do next? Get a, another bucket and place that there. Is it getting to be night time already? And that should create a central one there and then I can put that over there and go back to the central one here and put that there and we should have quite a bit of water now and we can take that off there and that'll be replenished and put that there and hello look at what's happening it's already turning to ice ladies and gentlemen this is what we need and um, as I fill this in uh, the water physics is going to do a lot of help for me in um, working out that it's a pond I'm trying to fill in and filling it in for me. Uh, just put that there and right. oh we've got another two blocks and there we go a very crude ice farm. Now the problem we've got with this unfortunately is Every time you mine ice, you shatter it. It leaves the world. So what I've got to do is come back with a silk touch axe, which is quite good. This is not bad. Not bad at all. So I think what I need to do is I need to um, perhaps create a nether portal right here and see where that ends up in the nether. Uh, come back with some actual um, harvesting tools Create a little um, shelter. We'll create a shelter here while we're at it. It's looking good. Right, where do I want my shelter? It's only going to be a mini one. One. Oops. That was a shovel. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two. Space for a door. There we go. I know it's made out of cobblestone, but you know, whatever. Uh, a bit more, a bit more. Jump up. A uh, bit more. Oh, oh, oh! Who are you? Who are you? Who said? Bye. How rude. Who said he could have a fight with me? Skellies with no armour. <laughs> Right, okay, that's kind of like set me behind slightly. So what I'm going to do is carry on making this another level. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a roof on that. Not much of a roof. This will do as a little safe shelter. I'll bring a bed here. I'll shear some sheep. Shear, sh shall you shear some sheep? Shear, shearing sheep, sheepy sheep, shear. Yeah, I might do that. Put a torch down. Now, you've got to be careful with torches now because any light emitting source, um, like a torch, also melts snow. So what we're going to do, as an example, is we're going to put a torch here. Gets rid of the block that it's placed on. That Every time the block updates around it, you're going to see that it's going to create more and more patches where there's no snow until you'll see um, the full extent of its ability to melt snow eventually. So we'll just leave that there for now and see what it does. And it also works with ice. Oh, you can place torches on ice. I didn't know you could do that. But when that changes to water, I'm guessing that the torch is going to be popped off. So what you could do in order to um, keep this from fully melting is put torches on the corners. And what these torches are going to do for you is keep you with a, uh, a constant supply of water. So you can just mine the middle. So there we go. Let's uh, 
Coming here and Uber up all this snow. It's not a very big base, but you know. I'll put a torch in, it'll feel a bit cosier. There we go. Uh, where did I put my crafting table? We could stick that in here. We'll just jump across our ice farm. Go. so even now we're aiming to make things cozier and it looks like my inventory is full so i'm gonna have to do something a little bit different uh yeah snowballs everywhere uh, mm. interesting indeedy anything i have that i can get rid of one two three one two three one two three there we go now if we can pick up the crafting table plank that back down uh, we may be able to make a chest or two, and that will help us. Right then. Chest. Unload things. That's good, that's good, that's good. Right, go back for the uh, furnace. Oh, crafting table, sorry. No, 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 both. Right, okay. You know where I like my things. Furnace, crafting table to the uh, left hand side. It's the way I roll. Bingo. And I think what I'll do is I'll go back to my main base and I'll bring some resources to strengthen this outpost and make it easier to uh, get here. So we'll see what we can do.